Welcome back to Let's Play Death Spank. Thongs of Virtue, Burning Dog fans. Last time, we got that bridge lowered and we tried to escape, but unfortunately everyone except Death Spank got slaughtered. Sorry, guys. Now, there's a rather large level 4 orc blocking the way out. I don't remember the early bosses being that hard in the first game, but hey, maybe I'm not remembering it right. It has been a while. There's a chest over here. Copper wristwatch? Wait, uh, where the hell? Oh, I equipped it automatically. Copper wristwatch. A perfectly normal steam-powered wristwatch. Surely that will be, give me the advantage I need. Don't ever stop. Whack. Fuck away. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna slaughter you guys. I like how the orc paratroopers are called paratroopers, but they're literally just falling from the sky without parachutes. Damn it! I thought the, uh, the thing with charging up had to be proper. Because, uh... Well, he kills me really, really quickly when I get in close to him. But no, he just resists it every time. It takes less damage than everyone else. If I just keep doing this... That happened for some reason. God damn it, I just got what he's doing. Those aren't laser eyes, it's a laser targeter. Enjoying this less, I'll tell you that. Mm. Mm. Fuck you. Didn't even arc to that guy. Taking it out on you, you idiots. Welcome to the POW, you worthless asshole. Get the big one, you fucker. Hmm. 
Nope. That's not happening. You must die. Thank you, Sandy. She was stalking me in the first game for the longest time. Being all mysterious and shit. Like, intentionally so. I think she at one point said she couldn't tell me who she was or what she was doing because she was, uh, it wouldn't be dramatic enough near the beginning of the game. Oh, well, then in that case. And... Say cheese, everyone! Oh. The Steam interface didn't come up. Lame! Well, there's a screenshot with my recording program. It just doesn't make a funny noise or bring a thing up in the corner. Rotten hell, a lot of you. Bye! Does anyone else think this axe looks like uncannily like the one from Brutal Legend. The, uh, the non burny one, I mean. God damn it. What the fu- John Rumball. So it's a Rambo joke again, but... Down you go. Yeah, that's a gingerbread commando, all right. I'll use my last chicken to fix that problem. Ah, good. Oh, interesting. I can't go back. Okay. Well, I guess all those guys did get slaughtered. First teleporting outhouse. Whenever I die, I always reappear at these mysterious outhouses. This has pretty scary implications for the afterlife. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, I didn't even think of it that way. Hmm. You can also teleport between discovered outhouses on the main map, but not inside dungeons. Okay. Huh, funny. I can't teleport to the one where I'm already standing. It looks like I'm directly north of Lord Von Prong's castle from that map. Speaking of people who can rot... But he's doing a pretty good job of it right now! Put that motherfucker in the ground. It only took me, what, 15 million years? Sandy Bravator. I didn't know your last name before. Greetings, redhead woman! Oh, it's you. Hello, Deathbank. I have another important mission for you. No apology for not rescuing me. There are things you must learn, Deathbank. Boring part incoming! Forged in the ancient fires of Bacon, a master craftsman created six symbols of virtue and gave them to the purest of humans. Six noble thongs to stand against evil and remake the world as it once was. The Thong of Courage was bequeathed to a fearless prince to bind us together. The Thong of Compassion given to a devoted nun so we could all care again. The Thong of Peace was entrusted to a subject who would do anything to prevent war and suffering. To Santa Claus went the Thong of Generosity to brighten the young with hope. The Thong of Cuisine was given to a popular television chef. And finally, the most powerful thong of them all. The Thong of Justice was gifted to a valiant knight to watch over the weak and requite the wicked. Together, these men and women were known as the Order of the Thong. But humans are ambitious and wishful and always desire more. And the thongs corrupted those who wore them, turning virtues into vices 
turning the power of the Thongs against us all. Spared from the fate of evil was the valiant knight whose thong was lost. His thong was never seen again. Present at the forging of the six thongs a generation ago was the granddaughter of the master craftsman, who knew the thongs were too powerful for man to wear and must be destroyed. She dedicated her life to finding the thongs of virtue and destroying them in the only remaining fires of bacon, found in a desolate place at the end of humanity, beyond the reach of the evil that is man. One by one, she sought the thongs, but the Order fought hard to keep that which corrupted and controlled their souls. It is a battle that is waged to this very day. What was the fate of the Thong of Justice? Lost for all time? Never to be found? We need to retrieve the thongs. Oh, and by the way, I've got another package I need you to deliver. Can't you get someone else to do it? This one's for a general way up north. Don't take too long getting to him. He gets rather... testy. If you need me, you know where to find me. No, I don't! Oh, man, that was a joke. Lay battlefield. Are you okay? Okay. Hold up a minute. Are you telling me I've got to have a boss fight against fucking Santa Claus? Because it sounds like I've got to have a boss fight against fucking Santa Claus. Oh my god. Sup? Greetings, soldier. Feeling gun ho about this really excellent war. Not at the moment, because we're having a hard time defending our position from the attacking orcs. Buck up, little soldier. I'm ready to help. Great! Listen, there's an orc calm tower a little ways to the west of our current position. Problem is that we ain't sure where it is and nobody is willing to go out and look. Leave it to me, cowardly soldier. I was kind of expecting Lord Von Prong would have been the, uh, the knight, but, uh, he was wearing the orange one, which I've already forgotten which one it was. So you're telling me that if I keep wearing this thing, it's going to turn me into an asshole as terrible as Lord Von Prong. Huh. It's not ideal. Recon the comm. I need to follow the dirt path to the west and find the orc comm tower, and then let the outpost soldier know where it is. So it's too simple for a hero of my caliber. I should get a new agent. Oddly warm gloves. Okay, let's see. What? What are the other f bolt two? Okay, the thong of cuisine has, uh, has corrupted a famous chef who wears it, so I need to kill her and return the thong to Sandy. Legend says that there is a great chef who lives out west. Legend also says that the pyramids were built by aliens, so you know legends can be trusted. The Thong of Generosity. Santa Claus has been corrupted by the Thong of Generosity, and it's up to the Vanquisher of Evil to defeat the Jolly Man and recover his Thong for Sandy. He's in the lair, it's in the frozen wastelands of the sea. I'm pretty sure I know what list I'll be on after this. The Thong of Compassion has been corrupted as cro- oh, fuck. It doesn't open up like that. Uh, okay. The nun who has been corrupted by the evil of the Thong of Compassion can be found up at the Sanctuary in the Dark Forest. I need to kill her in a spray of justice and return her thong to Sandy. Oh, fuck! I have to take this package for the army general to some ge uh, general hanging out at a military base of some sort up north. Being an army general sounds heroic. I bet he has a very heroic sounding name, kind of like Deathspank. And he gives me a machine gun with 500 ammo. Or she gives me. Hmm. I don't understand how the thongs of virtue could be so overpowered as to corrupt. The lost and found what is the empty. Well, can I help? I'm, I'm helping. Greetings, soldier. 
What can you tell me about generosity? That's top secret. Who told you about that? What can you tell me about compassion? The most compassionate person I've met during this war is the town medic. Goodbye, soldier. Just a moment. Right, okay. I doubt this not as the town medic. I'm just saying. What a hot mess this battlefield is. Excuse me, I've come to slaughter you. A lot of scrap metal. Hello, you're dead. I am going to regret this decision. I mean, I wasn't wrong. Oh yeah, I guess if the I guess the steam interface really isn't working because I saw earlier that there was an achievement for uh tricking the guy the uh oh tricking that dude into thinking you were an orc guard. Don't burn my money. Oh, hey! No one will know I was here. Surely all these piles of bodies won't give me away. Right, I'm just doing it damage, I forgot. Almost a level three, you can start using that sword. Strange that the closest thing I found in this game so far to a sword is the potato peeler. I bet that quest, the guy is just going to give me a, another quest right after that, so I should probably go hand that one in. I don't feel I'm taking this seriously. I haven't been taking this seriously since the moment we started this game, but, uh... That might be because it's very silly. Thank you. Greetings, soldier. I found the Orcom Tower. Uh, I'm surprised you couldn't see it from here. Nice work, Deathbank. Now, can you take this lit stick of dynamite and destroy it for me? I'll not only do it, I'll make it look easy. Great. Hold still while I light this. You're good to go. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Fuck off! Oh shit, shit! Lit dynamite. I could stare at this quickly burning fuse all day, but instead of doing that, I'm gonna... Oh, it's almost there, it's almost there! Run! Huh, that's weird. I got it in there in time, but it didn't actually work. Almost killed me. Didn't actually work. Really glad I took that speed upgrade. Fuck. Oh, Jesus. Ah! I waited last time. Greetings, soldier. I need more dynamite. Okay. Hold. Hold. Now run like a man with lit dynamite. I was expecting from the name of the battlefield for all these guys to have extremely stereotypical French accents. Oh! Fucking... I noticed a thing that had to fill up first. My bad. It does explain it, though. Boy, that wasn't your day, was it? A submachine gun, what did you say? 
Doesn't have unlimited ammo, but I'm gonna stick it over here anyway. Fills up to five enemies with hot lead and seething regret. Oh. The timer? That can't be right. Well, I guess I did start this video before the boss fight. Oddly warm gloves. All gloves are kind of warm. These are very warm. Commandork Monocle, the classiest weapon of all time. Hold down attack to charge up shots. Actually, I don't know where that goes. It's a weapon. Okay. No, don't put that there, you incredible dumbass. Oh, that's actually decent damage. And I'm guessing if I fill up the justice meter, then it does the other thing. Ammo! Greetings, soldier. I've destroyed the Orccom Tower. Oh, yeah. I know. I could hear the explosion from here. Now, our intelligence says that the orc troopers are planning a big offensive. But if someone were bold enough to attack the troopers and steal their plans first... Bold is one of my middle names. An odd thing I'll for a man with no... i those orc battle plans. I was just saying, it's an odd thing for him to say, given that he doesn't have a last name. But, uh, I've also got these boots I can no longer, I, can, I cannot wear yet, I can no longer wear. What? No. That's the opposite of what I said. Ice grenade. Grenades so cold they burn, then freeze you with burning. I'm at 10. War axe. Using a war axe in, war axe in peacetime is a bad idea. Wardly warm boots. These things get so sweaty, you wouldn't believe it. Hmm. Oh, I suppose I should, yeah, I was going to do that. Wait, I thought I did grind up that uniform. Oh no, that's the, that's the orc uniform, not the POW uniform. Okay, I'll do that and then call it an episode. Get rid of all this shite. If I ever get back to the world, I'll have a lot of money to spend. And... Sort. Nice. All right. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Death Spank, Thongs of Virtue, when we set out on a new quest well, to get those plans, and in the grand scheme of things, to destroy the Thongs of Virtue. Later!